Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is a wonderful God. Walking with Jesus is a sweet experience. If you walk with him, you can see miracles. Do you know why he is a God of miracles? You are seeing a building here. This is a new life multi-speciality hospital. This is a multi-speciality hospital built by our Jesus Redeems Ministry. Good things are happening for many people here. And when I see all this, I realize how wonderful Jesus Christ is and I praise God. The path that the Lord led me through is marvelous. In Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 12, let us see what the scripture says. Let me read it for you. The Lord will go before you is what it is written here. This is very important. We shouldn't go before the Lord. He shouldn't go before us and we should follow him. That is our protection. We had gone to one place for ministry that was an estate area. Much grass and other such things had grown. We should walk through it to go to a village. How do we go through this? Then a young man working in that estate came. He said, I will go before you. Follow me. We traced his footsteps. Because we wouldn't know where there is danger, right? Because he went before us, we were bold and followed him. Similarly, in this ministry journey, because I am walking behind Jesus and as he walks before me, let me tell you, I am safe and blessed till now. So the Lord God will go before you as well. Just believe this. At one time, we started a small hospital to do good for the poor weekly once. We began the hospital ministry 35 years back. Every week, we started offering free medical help to the poor. Then the Lord blessed us to do it daily. During COVID times, didn't they close the hospitals? All doctors surrounding this town vacated and left the place. They closed the hospitals because they feared that the people would come and they would be affected by COVID. Our hospital at that time, this wasn't built fully. It ran in a temporary place. The hospital services were functional every day during COVID. No buses or um, trains were operational that time. Sick people came. They walked and came. They walked 15 to 20 miles. I did the work of helping them by giving tablets and medicines. No one in our ministry was affected by COVID. The COVID disease didn't affect our campus at all. During COVID times, we opened the hospital daily and served the people. Poor people came and received a good treatment. And I'm saying this because if the Lord walks before us, it is a protection for us. So if you go before the Lord God, that'll be danger. So we should give place for the Lord to walk before us. What many people do is, Lord, I'm going to do this. Bless me. I'm going to do this. Come along with me and do everything for me. We put the Lord at the back saying, I will go first. You come behind me. Lord, lead me in the path according to your will. You go before me. I will follow you. In your family life, business, work or anything else, you go before me and show me the way. I will follow you. Try living by saying this. The Lord will lead you beautifully in each and everything. Nothing can stop or harm you. You will see the victory and blessing. That's all. Even on this particular day, just say, Lord, I have faced much harm because I hurried and walked in the front. Forgive me, Lord. I will not walk in the front anymore. You walk before me. I will walk behind you, Lord. Try praying like this. A surprising change will come. Will you say so? Tell the Lord, aren't you a wonderful Lord who walks before me? I have walked in the front and faced dangers many times, Lord. Forgive me. You walk before me. I will walk behind you. I commit myself to it in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen.